demonstrates the value of being attached to relations between Nepal and India. So it said New Delhi will continue to monitor the situation. Our correspondent reports that Nepal has postponed their scheduled discussion on constitutional amendment to update their country's map. The BSC Sensex today rallied 996 points led by massive gains in banking and IT stocks. The Sensex zoomed ahead of the expiry of monthly derivatives amid firm overseas queues. A report. The 30 share index settled 996 points or 3.25% higher at 31,605. Similarly, broader NSE Nifty surged 286 points or 3.17% to 9,350. In the broader market at BSE, mid cap and small cap both underperformed the sensing. Mid cap rose 0.54%, while small cap added 0.27%. The rupee depreciated 5 paise to settle at 75 rupees and 71 paise against the US dollar. In the domestic futures market on the multi commodity exchange, gold contracts for June fell 182 rupees to 46,140 rupees per 10 grams. And in intraday trade, Brent crude prices were trading around $35.50 per barrel. B. Ravi Kumar with Sanjeev Kumar Singh for AIR News. Central Bureau of Investigation, CBI, has registered a case against a private company and its three directors for causing an alleged loss of over 100 crore rupees to the State Bank of India. The agency said it has registered a case on a complaint received from SBI against a private rice company based at Karnal, Haryana and its three directors. And now, before the end, the headlines once again. Health Ministry says lockdown decelerated the pace of spread of COVID-19 and averted many casualties. Coronavirus recovery rate improves to 42.45%. Aroke Setu becomes the world's largest contact tracing app, reaching over 11 crore 40 lakh people. States and UTs advise to organize home deliveries of essential medicines to ensure maternal and child health care amid COVID-19 pandemic. Class 10th and 12th students who move to different places can appear for remaining exams from their current district. Incessant rains lash new areas in Assam. Several rivers flowing above danger mark. And domestic equity benchmarks zoom over 3%. Sunset climbs 996 points, while Nifty surges 286 points. And with that, we end the evening news.